In this video, we're going to show you how to get started in DocAssemble. You can register for a DocAssemble account here, and this link is going to be in the description. Down where your email address shows, click on Profile. It'll take you to this screen where you select the Other Settings drop down and Request Developer Account. Once you've requested that, one of our admins will approve your account. So you then go to the drop down with your email address, click on it, and select Playground. Go to the top left, the playground with a drop down button. The black bar, yep. Manage projects, yep, exactly. I'd like you to add a project called uh, MA Virtual Courts. You can call it what you want, I believe. So MA, MA is in mass uh, access. Save that. Um, and click on it. Now you'll notice at the top left where it said playground. Now it says playground slash MA virtual courts. Yes. That's a good thing. You've got your MA virtual courts project. Now go to your name, to your email and drop down and click the drop down there and hit profile at near the bottom. Okay. Okay. Then click other settings and GitHub in, yep, GitHub integration. Okay. Configure. And then let authorize. us into all your repos. So that's not true. But yeah, authorize. That's us. Suffolk Lit Lab. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. and then we'll take as long as it takes. And in the meantime, we talk about cats and the weather. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> done. Oh, save changes. That's perfect. All right. Cats next time then. It was saved. Okay. So now go to the top right and click the drop down again. Uh, go back to the playground. Now go to folders up uh, at the top with the blue letters. Yep, exactly. Packages. Um, and say pull. Now I'm going to give you the link to the repository and, paste, and it in. paste it in there. Then get the drop down. Uh, mm, master. A bunch of them. Yeah, and pick master. That's good. Okay. Um, and click pull. To be able to push to the repo, you should slack me your GitHub username so that I can add you as a collaborator and the whole it sounds it sounds dire but it's supposed to restart the whole system is supposed to restart <laughs> just so you know if you edit files that are in a package not in your own project like not new ones you've made but ones that are already in the package and you pull you will overwrite any of those changes pulling trumps everything if I hit pull that means it replaces what I've done if it's a file that is in the package, yes. Okay. So say the, you know, the file is uh, basicquestions.yaml and you've been editing it. Um, if you don't push first, you're gonna lose those changes. Uh, see where it says packages MA virtual courts up there? Mm -hmm. Click back. And that should take you back to the playground. But you only had test.yaml before, but now if you go to the top there and click on test.yaml, now you've got a lot more files. Now that you're set up in DocAssemble, you're going to want to upload the YAML generated code and the PDF form. Uh-huh. And um, now upload. Yep. Upload. You can up upload a YAML file into here. Open. Yep. If you look at the name up there, you've got a different name. Yes. So. And what do I do with the PDF now? Now you go to folders okay again and this would be a templates a template file so templates okay and i should upload the file yep here. browse yep okay so basically i'm teaching it to put the output onto this file yes yes so this is the file that it will be accessing what you need to do now is search for PDF space up in the search bar. 
at the top of the text area. Ah, okay. Yep. Sorry, I'm unclear. Okay. There you go. And you want to make sure that that name matches the name of the file that you uploaded. Okay. You can either look in your, yeah. Um, yeah, you should be set to edit it. You can hit save and run and you'll see how far it gets.